Hey guys, um, I can't hear you guys in my mic. Oh God. I hope you guys, I know you guys can hear me, but I don't think I'm in my regular mic. Uh, I guess I am in my mic. You guys can hear me because I'm vibrating, but I can't hear you guys in my headphones. Um, hello, I can't hear you guys, but you guys can hear me. Okay. All right. Um, the gain is up. Okay. Maybe that's what it was. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Microphone. Okay. I did a microphone update. My microphone had new software to add to it and I couldn't hear me for a second and I, I need that. Okay. We're back. We're back. I didn't even do an intro guys because that thing, my computer was like, if you don't shut this, if you don't reset me now. Okay. All right, let's do this real quick. Let me go run, get my coffee, and I'll be right back. Hey guys. Okay. Welcome back to part two guys. Look at us. We are making progress today and we are all up in the business. Okay. And handling that business like, like King Harris. Okay. <laughs> Arguing with his parents in the skybox at the Falcons game. Okay. That boy, he needs a whole can of whoop ass on him. First, to, first for trying to hand first, I guess his dad needs to handle him for him trying to handle his mother. Then his mother needs to put on some stilettos and whoop the shit out of him. And then also they need to go ahead and get the moving truck and let him go handle his business out here in the world by himself. Because don't you ever, it's bad enough you did it at the, you know, if you do it at the house, cause we don't know what happens over there at that house. But the fact that that boy thought he could handle his mother, boy, you better stop it, okay? He knows he was wrong for that. Anyway, uh, but yeah, we're back in Atlanta, and um, Sonia is over here side chicking in the worst way. She is over here working overtime for a man that is not hers. She's out here just doing standard wasting of time that a woman of a big age in her 50s should not be doing, and um, Sonia likes to play like she's a bad bitch and bad bitches would never okay bad bitches don't and would never waste their time number one with a man who's not available but if you're gonna do it you know look at look at uh look at uh damn Portia Portia is celebrating a one year she made that man marry her okay okay and they just celebrated a one year anniversary but um, Sonia is over here working overtime for Nesto and she seems to be quite in, into it. Um, okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you to everyone who just came right on in. Come, come right back in the room and let's finish this up. So last night, um, phone calls from prison dropped a video. Um, let me get that. I think I already put it in. No, you know what? I didn't put it in the description box in the other one because we didn't do it in the other one. Okay. I'm going to drop it in my description box. And I'm sure most of you guys, if you're here, you probably already watched it, but that's okay. Um, because I already watched it too. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to talk about it. So, but if you haven't watched it and you feel some type of way, 
don't, click on the link that I'm going to put in my description box and you go and watch it and then you can come back and listen to the deep dive, okay? Because um, this might be all a spoiler for you and, okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's okay, all right? So let me, I'm going to put that in the comment section now so I don't forget. Uh, because Phone Calls from Prison is a YouTube channel that we love to watch. Did I just, oh, I think I just put them, oh, I see what it did. That's very cool. So when you share a link in the description box now, you can actually also put a tag to their channel. Okay, cute. I didn't know it would do that. Um, or did it do it? Okay, whatever. Um, I'm tripping. Okay. I was trying to find the actual link to the video. Okay. I think I just, okay. I know what I did. All right. Let me get this here. I want to handle that. I want to do handle that business now so I don't have to handle it later. Okay. That way I don't have to worry about forgetting. Okay. Thank you for the likes. You guys are handling the likes and everything. Let's get into it um, because this is like almost an hour video. So, you know, we're already going to be here till lunchtime, but that is okay. Um, but this is a September call. So September call, that was what, two months ago? This is right after um, the strawberry letter. And let's get into it. Um, our friends over here at Phone Calls from Prison are going to cue this thing up. And let's just listen. And, you know, we're going to break in between. And I'm going to read you guys' comments. And again, I'm sorry. I, I thought we would do a full video last time, just a long, long, long video. But that was not in the cards. My computer was like, Girl, handle that business. Okay, guys. Three. This first call was made after Ernesto and Sonia found out his calls are on YouTube and will be addressed on the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Sonia calls Ernesto and adds him to a conversation with one of his previous cellmates. The three of them talk about... Can I just say this real quick? Why didn't Sonia... And maybe this was all just happening, right? But why didn't she call him or text him to say, babe, I met some guy who says he knows you from when you were in federal prison, when you robbed that bank that you were convicted of, or when you were convicted of robbing the bank they said you robbed. Um, why wouldn't she just call him to let him know what was going on? And instead of doing a drive-by with someone that he wasn't really familiar with at first and was kind of like, because, you know, he was stank-eyeing for a minute. Um, it was just weird to me. I don't know what you guys think about that. About making an Ernesto movie and a GoFundMe is mentioned. Take a listen. Ernesto been just talking about writing his own situation, but he has been doing it, so he's on the phone. Hello, Ernesto. Yeah. Okay, so I ran into an old friend of yours. He's on the phone. I mean, it sounds like some bullshit right out the gate. Like, you ran into some, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it didn't even sound right because he also knows what type of woman that he's dealing with. So, of course, he was side eye. He was, he was, it was a whole side eye situation because it was like, see, to me, and this is an overgeneralization, but this is my opinion and I'm giving it. Sonia is that type of woman. She's that type of female that will get a man into a fight. Guns are being pulled. Y'all brawling. She, like, she seems like she likes to run her mouth and she likes to run people into trouble. Okay. Yes, we are about to listen to whoever's just coming in. We are about to listen and react to phone calls from prison last night. Their drop which was this video. Let me show y'all so y'all know where we are in time. Oh, we are right before the strawberry letter. So this is right before the strawberry letter. This is September 8th. Um, and I think the next call is on the 14th, which is, I think, isn't that her birthday? That's either her birthday or the day. It's somewhere around that time. You know, mine's the 12th. Um, but all right, let's get into it. Say hi. What up, Joe? What's up? His name is Rook. Y'all used to be in Kentucky together. Okay. You're not having a good memory? You know, I'm old now. So you're not having a good memory? 
I'm a I'm a need for you to pump your brakes on clowning me in front of people I'm not sure about. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like she's so out of order and that's why she will stay a side chick because a wife, you know what I mean? Even though Shirley is silly and all that stuff too. Um, that's just, that's, that wasn't cute. Here's an example. So he'll remember you. All right, look, it was my celly. We slept in the same room together. I slept in the same room with her. I slept in the same He's just trying to figure out how you on the phone with his gal and why you trying to get to know me on this call. Like, it's weird. Sonia didn't even cue it up to let him know. I ran into someone on the Internet who knows you and he's a film producer. So I'm going to set up a call so we can all talk. She just she's just a weird ass, no class chick. That is not the way you approach a black man or a man in general. Most men would feel very threatened by some man all of a sudden being on the phone with their gal, even when they know their gal is weird. The listener, man, you know, the Internet to say a lot of things. They got, OK, so they got his calls going on the Internet now. They they putting his phone calls on there. So listen, I, I was online looking. Right. And he does movies now. He He has. Uh, a bunch of movies or whatever that he's been releasing and stuff. You know, we've been talking about doing, right? So I reached out to him and he was like, I know him. He was, we was locked up together. And I was like, for real? And he was like, yeah. Okay. I find that hard to believe. I bet you Sonia saw the guy, saw he was an ex-con. She saw where he was in prison or went and researched it where he was in prison and the time and reached out to him and said, I date Nesto. I'm with, I'm, I'm friends. I'm a, I'm a side chickenger with Nesto. And do you know him? I think you got, you know, do you, did you cross paths? I want a movie for Tubi. We want to do a movie. He wants to be an action star. I want him to be the next Sylvester Stallone. I want him to play by Denzel. Okay. It was me, uh, Morfield, uh, the guy name was Junior Shannon, the other guy name was Morfield, and I still talked to them. And Shannon, Shannon was from South Carolina, he was from Spartanburg. Morfield was from Pittsburgh. And I'm from Detroit. Yeah, Morfield was 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 from Detroit. And he asked, he said, can you always talk about your mobile barbershop? That's the first thing he asked. He said, did he ever do it? Did he get the mobile barbershop? I said, he still did. <laughs> I said, he I said, he Wait, she said he always asked? So this is more than one conversation, right? He sure did. So I said, mobile barbershop. Yes. But it also be true. And he asked, he said, you should always talk about your mobile barbershop. That's the first thing he asked. Oh, okay. He said, did he ever do it? Did he get the mobile barbershop? I said, he sure did. <laughs> <laughs> I said, he sure did. He did. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I know who you're talking about. He, he didn't like fish. He didn't like fish. You remember no. that? Um, no. I know he fish. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. No, I'm saying you didn't like the guy named Fish. That part. The guy named Fish is to do the drawings. Yeah, MSMJ. I was in the room with, he was in the room too. Uh -huh. Yeah, you didn't like him because uh, he told on them boys. He told on them boys from uh, Memphis. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about now? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. He yeah. I mean, I would be suspicious too. Like, just imagine if your husband called or your, your boyfriend, your, your side piece calls you on the phone. You're somewhere where you can't be where you need to be quickly. And 
He's got some chick on the phone who says she knows you from college or beauty school or wherever. It's weird. It's weird. Well, I don't know that um, PCFP is going to be able to get these in November because allegedly it's supposed to be a done deal from Cobb County. They said it's part of a criminal investigation, not releasing anything anymore. But at the end of the day, she is posting before PA. So she's so what Sonia is doing right now for anyone new here and catching up, you got to hit the playlist for that. But as far as what's happening this moment. Sonia is posting in basically real time. PCFP has gotten some more recent calls since from the summer, you know, from the, let's say from summer on. Um, and, and that's it. Let the games begin because at the end of the day, Sonia wants to try to control the story but at the end of the day, we can listen to anything from any point in time. And maybe she's trying to, you know, sometimes you got to think, why would someone start posting in real time? Number one, she wants to control the narrative, obviously. But maybe number two, she wants, because there's a lot of people who are focused on what happened last week. She wants to shift the conversation because there might be something in those calls she don't want people to hear. She's banking on, Oh, they're only going for this. They're only going for that. When she said that last week, I was like, oh, I'm finna listen to all this. I'm getting ready to, I'm getting ready to print out my little spreadsheet. And I'm a print and I'm gonna listen to everything on my desk. I'm gonna listen to everything. Cause there's something she doesn't want people to hear. Because she seems to think she knows why. When I don't know that there was a reason why. But she also seems to know that. PCFP has pretty much been the ones dropping everything, okay? She wants to take attention away from that, drop in real time, and she thinks that she had something that people want. She And maybe she does, but people are not pressed to go to her channel, which is why after almost two weeks, she still has 660 or 600 subscribers. Closer to the door. Yeah. He slept away from the door. He slept closer to the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all, you own it. You, you definitely right. You definitely right. Well, right. And, and listen, he's from Detroit. He know people that I know from Detroit. Cause we got to talking. I was like, yeah. he's like, yeah, I know him. I'm like, but they are too small of a world. Too small of a world. <laughs> Um, hello. I want to do a movie for my boyfriend. I mean, my, uh, my, my, my uh, Nesto. Oh, I know Nesto. I was he was in there for bank robbery. God only knows what he was in for. All right, Flip. Yeah, man, I've been doing great. I ain't got no complaints in the world, man. <laughs> okay. No complaints. You gotta stay out of the way. You gotta stay out of the way. So tell him yeah, they got a place where you can get in the way. Yeah. What'd you say? I I've been home fifteen years. To me, 20, that's since I left. It was 20 years. So, yeah, yeah. so tell them what type of movie thing that you do. Because that's why we reached out because you do movies. I got like, I got nine movies done on Amazon and Tubi. But only five of them are on Netflix. I got one on Hulu. Yeah. 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 Ye
that you want me to set the story, meaning like put up the budget for it, or you have See, he's already over here doing deals with this guy. There's nothing on paper, and this man's already kind of loosely taught. Like, to me, it lends to the professionalism. And honestly, I feel like, okay, maybe he knows Nesto from the jail and everything, but it's too quick, fast talking about doing deals and assigning, you know, not necessarily assigning tasks, like they're going to go do it tomorrow, but also just from a standpoint of, you don't even know if this this guy's been in over a year in the county. This thing hasn't even got started yet. He's on pause. He's on pause. He hasn't even got an indictment. He's still sitting in the county. He don't know when and where anything is happening. Why are y'all talk? Why are y'all moving so quick? And Sonya just seems like the type of girl that don't mind playing. You know what I mean? Like passing the puss, passing the putty. Okay. That's my impression of her. Okay? Hustle time. You had your own money. You just wanted me to be the producer. I didn't know what she was really uh, trying to do when it came to that. Well, I got I to gotta think about it. Because I ain't, I, I'm, I'm there, but I got to, I know I'm going to be the producer. I got that. But uh, I got to figure the budget out. I know I got it. Got to be a list. Got to be top notch. I definitely know that part. Oh, he said it's got to be a list, top notch. Thank you, Karen. I appreciate you. Says, um, it's like you got to be kidding. Henry, no, I don't want to do. Uh, I don't want to do no. Uh, no, nothing low, but just cannot be. It's a different type of life right here. You already know. You already know. That's right. Look, the guy who shoot my movie, shoot power, shoot empire, shoot the shot. He's from Chicago. Okay, he's from Chicago Blue. So we only dealing with top quality. The guys that write the movies, they wrote on free. They wrote Blackish. They're writing for Blackish. They wrote on the movie No Sudden Move, the TV show All America. You know, I'm like, I'm like you. I'm only dealing with top quality in the best. Okay. I thought, the, I thought some girls wrote that Creed thing. Some black chicks did that. Oh, there was female writers that worked on that. The guy who really wrote the shit is the guy Ryan Krugler, who who killed Black Panther. I'm about to say the, yeah, I know he, he was the head person. Well, my my buddy who partnered with me. So you be quiet, girl. Um, see, Nesto, you know, he knows a few, and he likes these movies, so. He's into some of this. So he's already checking the guy on what he thinks he knows versus what the guy knows. Worked on there with them. So Ryan Kruger, that's all his idea, the guy who do Black Panther. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. So who's the chick that's writing for uh, Power? Her name is Courtney Kim. She's she the creator. It's a team of writers on them, so this it might be. Twelve different writers of people working on them, on them, on those stories, but Courtney Kemp is the creator. Okay, well then that's what I want. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna be able to pay for it. She might not be interested in your story, sir. Right. She got a she got a three hundred million dollar deal, bro. I don't think she's gonna be listening to that deal. You got to say right now. Uh, you know what? If you, if you was in the same cell I was. I remember them niggas were laughing at me because I was drawing on that paper saying what I was going to do. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look, that's the actual lady, friend. That was the first thing I said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, them niggas were laughing at me then, you know. Yeah, I was with them kites. I, I zoomed past them motherfuckers sitting in there. Yeah, talking uh -huh. shit. So don't tell me what, what, don't tell me that that shit ain't possible now. I'm just sitting here for a oh, and, and the world, brother, I ain't going to ever tell you something ain't possible. Yeah. Anything is possible. And God has been on certain people's lives. And whatever they touch or want to do, it happened for them. Because I'm one of them people. So I truly believe whatever coming your man you could do, bro. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying right now, she can pay the hefty penny. So it's got to be something super fantastic for her. To be able to get in touch with the lady. Well, I, guess, 
about what podcast about what y'all y'all can't talk y'all can't talk and the fact that look i'm not even gonna say anything else but podcast about what sonia you and y'all need to get that podcast together what pod is this the podcast her channel miss waller that's the podcast clearly no one's interested there's thousands of people watching this and only 600 people have shown up to subscribe and maybe a few, there's a few, there's thousands, you know, a few thousands of views, but it's not, it's not giving, I don't know if she, he's getting a certain impression about what she's telling him and he's thinking it's bigger than what it is. And you're talking to a man who has deals with Tubi and Prime, even though that's not really a joke. There's people out here who would love to be on Tubi and Prime, right? That being said, Ernesto doesn't know what he's talking about because he's telling them to go ahead and get a GoFundMe started. If you have a good enough story, they're going to cut you a check. You don't have to do no damn GoFundMe. You have a story that is out of this world and that there's enough interest in. GoFundMe is not even necessary. Yeah. I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. I'm working. You're good. You're straight. Trust me. She definitely works. I can find me, and I know you. That's crazy. Right. Yeah, I just right. happened to just open my phone and just said, you know, that, that movie right. I'm like, oh, what is that? Oh, it's like, how do you have so much time? Aren't you building a family compound? I thought you were buying, like, two streets in Atlanta. I thought that you were, yeah, developing land. I thought that you're building uh, townhouses. I thought that you, uh, King of Diamonds, gave you a storefront at the new shopping center that they're purchasing. I thought that you were opening a strip club, a sports bar, a restaurant. I thought that you uh, work three jobs. Aren't you a busy grandmother? Like, sis, how do you have all this time to be shopping a movie for a guy who's sitting in the county? Uh huh. So it's gonna be good, man. It's gonna be straight. It's gonna be all right. Just put it go. Hey, you too, man. Uh, I heard saying the situation, but it's gonna get better in the mountaintop. You are gonna see? Yeah, for sure. I'm sorry, Sandy. Okay, cool. We're, we're so, here to bed. We're here to bed. I got to talk to you. Well, I will, what? I will reach out to you. Oh, shit. He okay. left you the channel. And I just go on. Hold on. Are you taking? Hold on. You know, I got to mute you real quick. Hold on. Mm, all right. Bye. Hold up. Yeah. Small world. 
Hey, that, uh, what I asked you for today, give me a clipping of that of our trust going through the city. I just told you. Um, that. Right. I said, Come back. I got to talk to you. Well, I will, right, I will reach out to you. Hit hear them back. Oh. I'm sitting on the mountaintop. You're going to see. I heard the same situation, but it's going to get better on the mountaintop. You're going to see. Hey, yeah, for sure. That's all we can do. Okay, cool. We, we, so, we hit them back. We hit them back. I got to talk to well, you. I will, right, I will reach out to you. Oh, shit, he left me to come. And I, just go on. Hold on. Hey, Jacob. Hold on. You know I got to mute you real quick. Hold on. Mm, all right. Bye. Hold on. Yeah. So it said his cellmate disconnected. So I guess I guess the call was over at that point. I don't know what they mean by that, but I guess that was when, whenever she muted him, he hung up, right? So I'm going to put you guys on mute too because Porsche's barking. Small world. Hey, then, uh, what I asked you for today, give me a clipping of that of our trust. I would have been like, hey, yo. Future reference, before you call me with anyone on the phone, like, he really needed to check her, but he didn't. That's his business. But I would have I would have had to check her. Like, don't you, at, please, don't you ever. Don't do that again. Put me on the phone with someone. I don't know who you put me on the phone with. That is not, that doesn't fly too quick with me. Don't do that. Going through the city. I just told you. Mm -hmm. Right. I sent it to him on his email, on his Instagram. I just happened to just stumble across him. It was like young movie da -da 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 -da, to look out for. And I'm sitting here like, okay, let me, um, let me see what this is. And I was just, and I just um, looked at his page briefly and sent him a message. And he was like, call me. See what it is. Okay. She working. She working. She working. Uh, I'm going to try was like young movie da -da 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 -da, to look out for and I'm sitting here just stumble across them. It was like young movie da -da 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 -da, to look out for and I'm sitting here like, Okay, let me um let me see what this is and I was just and I just um looked at his page briefly and sent him a message. There's more to that story. So you saw something about a new movie to look out for and you looked at the movie or you looked at his Instagram page and something about that made you like i would really like there's just something about th when she's telling this story that sounds very fake um and very phony like okay let me um let me see what this is and i was just and i just um looked at his page briefly it's the stuttering for me you know what i mean like, oh, my God, I saw a post about this movie and I went and looked into who the director was and whatever. And but -da 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 -da. like she's lying to look out for. And I'm sitting here like, OK, let me, um, let me see what this is. And I was just and I just um, looked at his page briefly and sent him a message. And he was like, call me. See what okay. Okay, she working, she working, she working. Uh, I'm there when I'm trying to have a book, they putting books out. I'm, I'm in my own way. I, that just never ends. Is that what he used to talk? Is that what he used to talk about? Yeah, every time I'm putting books out, you know, a lot of guys do that. They write books while they're in jail and all that. <laughs> I, I just didn't never like that prison shit. That, that, right. You know, turn me on, nigga, write my, you know, the they hood books and all that. I just never liked that. I mean, some mm -hmm. of them, it just, it just, it never, it just looked ghetto to me. You know, the ghetto, it just looked the ghetto to me. That's all. I like Everybody, that. right. There's something for everybody, though. You see the world. Yeah, yeah. But, but he right, it's, though. And he right. He, he, he know what he's talking about. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what he asked about. Did he ever do that mobile barbershop? Yeah. I said he sure did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just told you, he told me what I can't do. Okay. <laughs> he on his ninth ninth movie with Amazon Prime and Tubi. So he 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 climbing up there. Okay, that's good. With Amazon Prime, that's where all the movies get released that don't go to the show. So okay. to the show. Okay. So yeah, he's special. 
Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> he's good. Thanks, Jen. Did you listen to Sonia's recent video? Yeah, we just did that. We reacted to that. Um, if you look at the live that was just posted, yeah, we looked at that already. Um, so go check that out after this. But thank you so much for the super sticker, sis. I appreciate that. Thank you. And he remembers you. He remembers you. Um, we'll talk about it on Real Talk Bougie later, uh, maybe like this afternoon when I come back from pickup. Um, after I finish this, I just want to like process for a minute and do some laundry and some stuff around the house. But later this afternoon, maybe for like an hour or so, I'll meet y'all over at Real Talk Bougie and we'll talk about like everything today um, of what we've just learned and talk. And I will open the call in line and you guys can call and we'll talk about everything. OK, um, but we're going to get through these videos. But yeah, for the recent call of Miss Waller. That was in the previous video, Nesto Family Hustle Part 1. And then, so this is the phone calls from Prison 1. Okay? All right, sis. Okay. Okay. Um, he wasn't like you sitting there struggling trying to remember him. <laughs> I, I thought he old. Hold on, give him a minute. It'll oh, click. Man. His mind all over the place. Oh. I'm a, Cause it said, so it was on blacknews.com. Meet the formerly incarcerated filmmaker who's on his ninth, you know, film from Amazon. And that's why I was like, boom, oh, let me, because I wanted somebody that could relate so that everybody always try to look at She likes a dude from jail. She likes a jail, jail type dude. So she probably was just looking for a husband anyway. Nesto, like, has to, he, Nesto knows what type of woman she he's with. And at the end of the day, she will try to use him as much as she possibly can, but don't think she's not trying to look for um, some dude with some deep pockets. Because that's all she talks about are men and money and business deals. She is actively seeking out business deals, business arrangements, people with money, people with financing, people who want to do something to make some sort of financial connection with them. That seems to be her main conversation all the time is connecting with someone to do some sort of business. Even when she talks about her family, it's on some, some money, some working, they need this, they need that. Like the she's always talking about just, money. You know, like he knows when you've been through it, you know how the system is. Right. So that's why I'm more like, let me reach out. And so happen to y'all will have to be locked up together. So small work. Right. And he was, he was like, I was, I was looking at his number. Oh my God, it was may like his things too. What's that? My boy, um, the lawyer friend of mine, he's following him. Okay, hey, the one that um got the award from um Billboard. Oh, so yeah, yeah. So let's 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 put this negative into a positive. That's right. That's right. That's yeah. Right. Okay. Negative okay. to a positive. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel with all this going on in one day? This whole trigger mechanism in one day. In these last two days of craziness? Yeah. Some two days of craziness. I mean, you see more than I see. I'm just going by. You just give me bits and pieces. Yeah. Um, Overwhelmed a little bit, but at the same time, I'm just in the background. It's more so your face and her, you know what I'm saying, and them that's out front. I'm just... Uh, so, yeah. yeah, until you came to the foreground, until you started trying to play with people on the Internet, you were definitely in the background, but you came to the foreground. You can't be mad because people got your pictures out here now. You did that to yourself. You did that to yourself. OK, you did that to yourself, sis. Even though, you know me, I like to be quiet and in the corner somewhere. I don't want to be, you know, I Lies. don't like attention, period. So I was kind of like, man, I'm a fucking name now. This is shit, but fuck it. Girl, the I lie guess. detector dude, yeah, German, that, that was a lie. Okay, so how does... At this, this point, what can you say? How does that how 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 this make you feel? <laughs> uh, she I loves it. Know, I really just... I, you know, I really don't think about me. I always just think about what you're going to do. Well, I detected the German. That was a lie. Ah. Ah. The lie detected the German. That was a lie. Ah. 
Okay. I just, yeah. But they going through. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't I don't ever think what? about how any of this affects me. I just try to make sure you're okay, your mental is good, you're not stressing, you're not depressed. And then everything as far as, you know, that need to be done to make sure everything is fair and well, it's freedom. Seen, I've never seen that like this before. I've never seen <laughs> It came out of nowhere, of course. What do you say? And he even said that because he said his friend that y'all was in the thing sent him an article. Of your article. Yeah. So he was like, when he looked at it, he was like, man, that ain't him. That don't sound nothing like him. But the child, see that part. He right. said, man, that ain't him. He said, that don't sound nothing like him. That's, 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 that's just what he told me before he called. He was like, that's not him. And I was like, yeah, it's all in. like when you know a person's character, you kind of can, you know what I'm saying? No, like, no, that ain't, he ain't on that. That ain't his vibe. He's not a, Everybody like, mm-hmm. who know me know how I've got Right, that's why I'm like, mm I ain't even got to ask. Did you? No, I already know. No, he didn't do this shit. <laughs> I know that. He did not do this shit. This is not him at all. He is not that type of person at all. At all, everything they're saying, I'm like, no, that's not him. That's not him. That's not him. Mm-mm. Crazy. Yeah. Like that's not that's not and like I say, people you can fake a little bit, but you can't nobody fake every day, three, four years, ten years. You can't you right, you can't fake that. That's that's not you know, saying unless you just out here total naive, like they always say, Oh, well he had a whole family that she didn't know nothing about. You know, guys who have kids and wives on the side. Right, oh, yeah. right, right. That's what you're totally naive and you feed into everything a person tell you. You have no Sh- Sonia, what what She talks so much. I would love to know from this man how they really met because this guy is out here working. He's a public figure. He's got nine movies on the Internet. Um, even if they're not big movies, whatever the, whatever this man's doing, um, Sonia has just entered this man into the chat by putting him on the phone with Ernesto. She could have been talking to him off the side and never even mentioned his name. And they, or they could have been talking about it and not mentioned a name. But when she called him on three way and his dumb behind, and I'm going to say dumb behind, because, sir, if you're out here listening, you stupid and slow too, because she put you in this. So anything that y'all were doing, people are going to be all up in your business now, sir. They're going to be all up in your business. And trying to figure out what the hell's going on and what you are doing with a with a salty ass side chick, slow chick with slorish tendencies tendencies like Sonia, because she's the type of chick to get a man in trouble. OK. And she puts you you got you going to have the weight of the Internet on you now. OK. Probably about five o'clock no type of street sense and common sense and you're just green yeah you can get that i've seen a person you know get taken advantage of like that i've seen that happen but you know if you're smart or sometimes they do it out loud and be like whatever but yes it's crazy you need to get up and some food what you been doing uh, uh walking around circle trying to think about shit and, and right and walking you know, around yeah, in they circles got some new moves, but they ain't uploaded yet so i just put now i check the message yeah check your message right message, yeah so um, all right you know it, I'm, I'm, it's, a, it's a good friday it's a good friday it's a good positive friday it's a good <laughs> yeah it's good oh, wow. but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. uh i hate it for they i hate it for uh the other end how they turned out but you know what it's gonna turn out even better for them for all of us so just got to stay focused and uh stay Look at him. I hate it for the other end, but so you hate it for Shirley. You hate it how it turned out. See, side chick, stay in your place. Everything will be fine. So that made me feel good that um, I asked you to send me that that screenshot of that. Um, And then for Buddy to say that to you, man, that made me feel good. That made me feel good. Uh Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, so, yeah, for him, if you want to write on it and, and get it out there, 
Yeah, that's that's cool. But I, I mean, that would be your best right there, only only because he's already down with Amazon and Tubi, which are the, one of the the biggest like distributors of 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 movies. Before you go to the big screen, right. Right, I understand. I mean, if you wanted to go to the big screen, more people are, are watching stuff on Amazon Prime than going to the movies anyway. Because whenever I go to the movies with Tomas, it's always half empty. And we go on Saturdays and Friday, you know, and it's always half empty. It's not like, you know, COVID. People are like, eh, they got kind of comfortable with just watching it at home. Plus, it saves right. money to just watch it from home. Right. Oh, he got the car crash up on the curb. Makes it like a fur. Okay. I mean, you know, it's... It's got to, you know, like I said, she, you know what? Don't get that podcast together. You got you to gotta get everything together. You, you, you know what to do. I ain't even got to eat. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, hey, I'm innocent, and I'm going to be all right. Just got to stay focused, afraid of. That's what's going on right now. But that makes me feel good right now. Yeah, it's a great day. Mm-hmm. And I got a cold day coming up, so that's even better. <laughs> get this out the way. Yeah, so whatever's gonna happen, somebody gonna somebody gonna help me get up out of here. Somebody mm-hmm. gonna gonna see that I'm innocent. They're gonna help me get a bond, help me get out of here. Take it to court. I mean the evidence, the, the evidence there yeah, there is no evidence so for for anything that's they're trying to charge you with the girl had came to court with nothing other than a statement. That's all she came with. Which I'm so shocked that girls are even like that right. Well she showed up with a statement. Right, like you, you can really do that to a person off of a statement with yes, no supporting can. evidence. That's yes, crazy. How do you, yes. how do you have no supporting evidence and all you got is a conversation? Uh, That's it. Thing. How did Buddy sit in jail? Did he sit in jail? The guy from Ohio, did he stay? Did he have a bond? Uh, yeah, he looked like he couldn't. I don't think he had a bond. He don't. He he was just a regular, regular type dude, like a coach or something. Wait, I don't think he had. I, yeah, hold on. Is she talking about Daryl Brooks and his crazy behind? <laughs> the Christmas market guy? Isn't he the one who, who ran through the Christmas uh, situation? That crazy dude. Who were they talking about in Ohio? Some people that was happy to see it. 3,000 people were happy to see what? It was, they viewed it. I looked at the views on it. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm not. Oh, 3,000 people were happy. Wow. Yeah, 3,000 people that was happy. Who's drunk? Oh, wow. Yeah, 3,000 people that was happy to see it. 3,000 people were happy to see what? They was they viewed it. I looked at the views on it. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really worried. I'm not really worried about uh, 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 other folks' boss and all that. Them folks ain't no dummy. Them folks is very intelligent when it comes out of the business. So, damn, that's amazing. Yeah. You saw this dude, and you saw this dude, and this dude. That's amazing to me. And he was the old monkey monk. <laughs> and remember Joe Dream. How long ago was that? He said 2008, so that was 10, 12, 13, 15 years. You have one minute remaining. 15 years ago, he was still remember your journey. You and your journey. Damn. <laughs> he was still in your journey. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. I, went, I, went, I went home in a stretch, a stretch, uh, home in a limo then. Did you? Uh, All right. So you, you check some of his movies out. See how they are. You know, some movies be good. Some movies be you know, the film bad. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it and see. But like I said, it made the, the news and all that other stuff. I didn't see his, his page. I, find, I saw articles on him. Oh, okay, okay. That's what it was. That's cool. Well, right. That's good, then. That's good. That's mm-hmm. okay. That's good. This, this, is, this, is, this is good. This is good. Thank you for using Global Telling. This next call between Ernesto and Sonia is from September 14th, 2023. This is three days after the Steve Harvey Morning Show aired. At one point during the conversation, Sonia adds Dion and Lamont to the call. Ernesto says he wouldn't have anyone if he didn't have Sonia. Take a mm. listen. Okay. You know they on my on my Instagram, right? You know what? 
You know they on my Instagram. I told you, man. What? He took a few pictures off your Instagram and put them on all those damn stories. Okay. I know I'm saying you know Dev's name. They, uh, she's on there, too. She's on there? Yeah, she's on there. You're going to see a black little horse in the bus. It's a video. And you see... He's so damn slow. Like, we've seen this. Like, you just now figuring this out in September? Oh, you were just like, oh, I saw that. I, I saw her on there. And she got on, oh, the, and she got on the bus. And she, she saw that since she's been seeing that. She she saw that, like, two years ago. I saw that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Okay. I yeah, I saw that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. But she didn't say much. She just said. She didn't say like three, four words. She didn't really right, like, she didn't, right. you couldn't really hear how she spoke. But today, no, you could hear how she spoke. She said, uh, yeah, I'm over here with my OG. When my OG come to town, I got to come see about my OG. Like, duh. Girl, stop. We saw Erica and we saw I you. I heard how she spoke. She was doing an interview and I was like, oh yeah, she got an educated tongue, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Yeah, she was, huh? Yeah, I saw. Because when you put her name in, all you see is a white person. Yeah, <laughs> a white that. person. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, her page was, was, was super, super, super fine. I'm over having was everybody, it? everybody on there. So it's crazy. But anyway, uh, yeah. All right then. Okay, so uh, that's it. I'm, uh, hopefully, I get a, a date. Uh, did you check if I had a date yet? No. She told, she told me today when I spoke to Pamela, she said it's going to be probably a couple of months because I was asking her when was Hannah going to file for a bond hearing. I told you. She never did. She said right up there and told me she did it. She said she, oh, she told you she did it? Yeah, she said it. She said, I, I already sent it in, waiting on the state, and uh, she said, I'll see you when it's time to go. i come see you when it's time to go. Oh, she didn't file. Well, I don't see that she filed anything. That's what she said. She told me that. It's like your boy didn't file anything. You don't have anything after um August or anything. Wow. <laughs> wow. So why would she say it would be a couple of months? Because you just went to court. And I was like, well, that was a preliminary hearing. Um, and not necessarily a bond hearing. So I thought the bond hearing, you know, resets, and, you know, every 90 days. So what she said she's going to do next? I didn't talk to Hannah. I spoke to Well, she was just telling me that, that Hannah is assigned to the 407. Oh, oh, okay. She said she is assigned to it, yep. I said, well, you can't really see it on the site. They don't have her listed. They have no attorney listed. She said, no, she is assigned to it. Okay. And I was like, okay, well, I have called her a couple of times, and I know she's busy. You know, I know y'all have a heavy workload. She was like, girl. And I was like, but um, this is just such a serious case, and, you know, he can't get out. So it's just, you know, a lot going on. That's when she was like, okay, you can always call me if you got a question or anything. You know, you can always call me. But a 104.9, that day she Every 90 days, it'll be coming up. My 90 days be out of 20. Who was she talking about? She said she didn't talk to Hannah. She was talking to who? She said like three, four words. She didn't really, right, like, she didn't, right. you couldn't really hear how. Crazy. But anyway, uh, yeah, all right then. Okay, so uh, that's it. I'm, hopefully I get a, a date. Uh, check if I had a date yet. No. She told, she told me today when I spoke to Pamela, she said, it's going to be probably a couple of months because I was asking her when was Hannah going to file for a bond hearing. I told you. She never did. She said right up there and told me she did it. She said she, oh, she told you she did it? So maybe there's someone, Pamela, in the Georgia uh, Public Defender's Office because she said she spoke to someone named Pamela over there in the, uh, what? Was being facetious. So Instagram, Instagram. That part, that's the killing part. Is the Instagram. 
I can't stand listening to Dion. I know Dion is so he's Dion is has his own way. Okay. Oh my God. The speech therapy all the way around. Um who said they're late? Yeah. Y'all, I don't know what's going on. Y'all, they spoke to somebody. Let's see. Look. Um who bums who bums and sings while someone is having a concert? Somebody look, don't make me get in trouble on this internet to say the things I want to say. But who sings? Who what type of a person? would sing and hum and all of the things while other people are talking. Number one, a weirdo. Number one, someone who may have suffer with um, some sort of personality disorder because you're dismissing anything of relevance that this person is saying. Virgo doll was good, sis. Um, she's a weirdo. She's a weirdo. And she might suffer from like severe ADHD or something untreated, undiagnosed. I don't even know, but something is wrong with, with ma'am. Okay. Um, okay. Anytime now video. All right. Let me see what else you guys are saying. Okay. Virgo doll. Um, we don't claim Sonia as a Virgo. Sonia is one of these Virgos who shall remain nameless or shall be Virgos that we, that we will put on the Virgo list of people. We just don't, we don't fuck with her. <sighs> okay. Something is going on. All right. Let's, we were doing so good. All right. Let's see. What minute are we at? We're at 2438. Okay. Let me, let me just give it a big reset. Jane's two calls made by Ernesto in September of 20. Okay, it needs to catch up. But she didn't say much. She just said, she just said like three, four words. She didn't really, like, she didn't. You could okay, so listen to this next part. I stopped it because it was interesting. She mentioned, they started talking about Hannah. They're going to talk about Erica for a second. I'm going to try not to go back and, you know, hit the back button because that seems to aggravate my system for whatever reason. Um. So she's talking about Erica King and then they start talking about checking in with Hannah that Hannah may or may not have filed some motions. She said she would. This is the weird thing for me. Hannah as an officer of the court, as a licensed attorney on the bar, telling your client that you're going to do something and don't do it. That's a problem. Now, if she gave a timeline, that's very problematic. If it's something that's on her to-do list and I'll get to it when I get to it, I guess that makes sense, right? Um, I don't really know. But um, then she starts talking about talking to someone named Pamela. So I don't know if that's an associate, that's another uh, attorney in the office or what, but let's just listen. I didn't really hear Did how you guys she hear spoke, but today I heard how she spoke. Did you guys hear me? She was doing an interview. And I was like, oh, yeah, she got an educated tongue, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, it's yeah. Huh? Yeah, I saw. Because when you put her name in, all you see is a white person. Yeah. <laughs> a white person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, her page was, was, was super. Who? And he's talking about Erica King sounds educated? I don't even know. Super, super fly. I'm over asking well, everybody, everybody on there. So, it's crazy. But anyway, uh, yeah, all right, then. Okay, so uh, that's it. I, hopefully I get a, a date. Uh, check if I had a date yet. No. She, tell, she told me today when I spoke to Pamela, she said it's going to be probably a couple of months because I was asking her when was Hannah going to file for a bond hearing. I told you. She never did. She said right up there and told me she did it. She said she, oh, she told you she did it? Yeah, she said it. She said, I, I already sent it in waiting on the state, and uh, she said, I'll see you when it's time to go. i come see you when it's time to go. Oh, she didn't file. Well, I don't see that she filed anything. 
That's what she said. She told me that. So it's like your boy didn't file anything. You don't have anything after um August on anything. Wow. <laughs> wow. So why did she say it would be a couple of months? Because cause you just went to court. And I was like, well, that was a preliminary hearing um, and not necessarily a bond hearing. So I thought the bond hearing, you know, resets, and, you know, every 90 days. So what she said she's going to do next? Well, I didn't talk to Hannah. I spoke to – well, she was just telling me that, that Hannah is assigned to the 407. She's a weirdo because – you're talking to this man. He's sitting in jail on some very serious charges. And she literally is just humming away like a fucking mad woman when he's trying to have a conversation with you. Like, if it's not about some stupid shit, like trying to have him focus on a movie deal when he should be worried about getting his ass up out of jail. And then you're sitting there humming like you are like, what's wrong with you? She's very strange. Let me see what you guys are saying. It's very, oh yeah. They said that you're assigned to the 407. <laughs> Yeah, they, I don't see he posted, she, she didn't file anything. Oh, oh, okay. She said she has a sign to it. Yep. I said, well, you can't really see it on the site. They don't have her listed. They have no attorney listed. She said, no, she has a sign to it. Okay. And I was like, okay, well, I have called her a couple of times and I know she's busy. You know, I know y'all have a heavy workload. She was like, girl. And I was like, but um, this is just such a serious case. And, you know, he can't get out. So it's just, you know, a lot going on. That's when she was like, okay, you can always call me if you got a question or anything. You know, you can always call me. But a 104, 9, that date, uh, every 90 days, it'll be coming up. My 90 days will be uh, the 26th. 925, you got a court date. What? You got a final plea, 130. On 403. And what time is that? 925 at 130. 925 at 4 at 1. 130. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, final plea. Come on. And this is the, right. This is the, shoot me. Self right taking, operating. This is the, uh, Oh boy, Calvin. This is Calvin. Calvin's case. Okay. okay. So, right. Okay. So there we go then. Let's look at 402. Because they're supposed to be consolidated. Supposed to, yeah. Remember, he did a motion for consolidation of the cases so that 402 and 403 can be heard at the same time. And you got a court date the same day in this one, too. Okay, cool. So you got a 925 final plea on this one which are the theft of service and the, the bank check in November 2021. All right, so I go to court on both of them on the 25th. Correct. At 1 o'clock. Is that going to be Zoom or is that in person? One thirty. Um, it has to be in person. It's a final plea. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, it's not Zoom. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that made me feel much better. It's not a virtual. It's an actual in court. Okay. So okay. I'm going to text you. I'm going to text your daughter and let her know just in case you want to go. You want your daughter there? Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. I'll let yeah, her know. Let, 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 let uh, Junior know what's right. happening. Let uh, Bro know what's mm -hmm. happening. That <laughs> made me feel good because I'm ready to get this shit over with one step at a time. All right. Damn. So who right, let's get this out the way. I wonder who put the that The state in. did that. That wasn't your boy. The state did it. Mm -hmm. it was, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Boy, them 4 going to be mad when I got them. Get to talking now, boy. Ooh-wee. Right. Man, man, you don't have well, to what I got to say. This is a final plea in... 
I know what that we means. Want to, you want to go to trial on this one or no? Yeah, I'm going fast food trial. <laughs> I, I already made my mind up. Okay, yeah, okay, great. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that all the time. We ain't talking about it. Because right now my, no life, my life is fucked up and I got to clean my shit up one step at a time. Okay. All right. You want to talk to your daughter? No, I don't want to talk to nobody. I keep telling you that. It's <laughs> That's okay. Me, the last time I had a great conversation with her, I want to leave it just like that. Because you know what? Because she's my oldest mm-hmm. and she broke me all the way. Mm-hmm. She told me that she don't uh, to say that well, my hero is you. Because she said she's mm-hmm. seen me come out and fight for her. Mm-hmm. All that. That shit has tears coming to my eyes. So I got to keep that wonderful memory that she needs to see I'm going to win again. Right. Because it's a lot. It's a mm-hmm. lot. This is a lot. I'm a grandkid. They don't need to they don't know, nobody needs to know nothing to break them down. She needs to stay positive. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what you can do, can you send me them pictures uh that I actually you send me? Okay, so I gotta go on your page. What what thing oh, you actually hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I don't want you to send me nothing because you got like you got a other or vomit then. So stop it. I I could have what? You got a big old long vomit in your chest, then. Not vomit. <laughs> you, know what? you know what? She likes jailbirds, so I don't know. Um, when you get out, maybe she's not going to be interested in you anymore. He said, you sound like you got a big old lump of vomit in your throat. Vomit? What is wrong with this guy? Vomit? <laughs> Girl. This is this is just oh my god. All right, we keep going. Mm-mm-mm. It's going, it's going, it's going, guys. I don't even understand. Is that so? He's asking her again for those pictures. So he's asked her for some pictures from his Instagram. I'm all right with that. No, I can't tell. I can't tell. I can definitely look at your, um, shut up. I can look at your page. That's my biggie. Yeah, it is. No thing, but a chicken wine and It's probably got all type of negative shit on that page right now. They're probably running off the They phone. don't allow people to speak on your page. I know, because I got a block on it. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Do you remember what I texted you, what I asked you? I need that. No, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you now. I don't have, I sent you a number to call. Because I don't have the email to that phone. I don't have that email to that phone. So that number has the email to the phone? I don't have it. I don't have the email to it. I don't have, have it in my wallet. But I have. I think I got the password. So well, here's what I'm going to tell you. The lawyer, any lawyer, any lawyer can go and get the evidence for me. They can get this. See, that's what old boy is supposed to be doing. He never did that. See what I'm saying? Right. So when I see them, I'm going to see them. Uh, probably Friday. Yeah. Yeah, because you got court coming up. Yeah, so I'm going to see him. I'm going to get him to get that shit. So don't worry about that. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Don't trust me. It's coming. It's coming. That part right there, that's, that's free. That's public. You know what? Let me tell you this, too. And the other thing you say, the two-year thing, that's not true because I have, on this case, I'm going to court for, I have my um, discovery package. That part went all the way back to 2001. So mm-hmm. you can go past that. That's not, that's not true. Because I got this shit myself. So no, no, don't do that part. All right, so now here's, here's the thing. What you doing? Here's the thing. Let me get this shirt upstairs. Here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. That made me feel better. You know what? I'm going to tell you right now. I got to let the world know the blessing that came. Like I'll tell my, my uh, son. Man, I don't care mm-hmm. about what the whole time I because see the blessing is what if she wasn't here? I would be fucked the fuck up. If you wasn't here, I'd be really fucked up. You do know that, right? Mm-hmm. You do know that. So you know it all you got to be told. I don't give a fuck how I nobody think about what you got going on and what's your position. I don't give a fuck about that. To me, no, sir, I go put you in a position to to look. Like I say, she looked for me, bro. I didn't have nobody to call. 
She looked for me, took her five fucking weeks. She went to the devil's and back to find me. Motherfuckers ain't going. He must have blew her back out. Sonia, Nesto must have blew your back all the way out. You were looking for this dude for five weeks? What did he do to you? What did he do to you, sis? Girl, you was hunting him down for five weeks? Looking here, there, and everywhere? What? She loved that ninja. Let's see what they're saying. What you guys are saying? That shit? They ain't doing that shit. Those toys are something mm-hmm. serious. Well, me, motherfucker, my it was the I liquid Viagra. <laughs> you, 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 you it was the LV. All this old slick talk, all this shit, motherfucker, be talking. I don't give a fuck about that. I go up with, with, with facts and reality. If you was not here, I would be fucked. Straight the fuck up. Sometimes people can't do like you made a statement. Hey, uh, well, they say they got the money and the motherfuckers got the brain. But who gives a fuck about that if the job is getting done? Get out your motherfucking mm-hmm. business. That's what I don't like. That, that's what's like. That, that's why I'm black. So and so, Shirley, you got the money and and do Flocky got the brains? Is that what they're saying? People don't get no real paper because they're getting their motherfucking feelings. Oh, they sure do. And they don't know how to come together with nothing. They just be at each other. If she no, doesn't do. stop, like cats and dogs, uh, slave mentality. So what I'm gonna say to you, I thank God that he had. I thank God. His oh, wait, did I tell you that the story that the girl worked out the mother? The who and the what? The girl, did I tell you about the story about the girl worked out the mother? The story. Stop. She stayed at a fucking hotel because her boyfriend was locked up at the fucking truck stop. That motherfucker work, she couldn't even come to go work uh, four or five hours at the truck stop on a daily, on the, you know, where they feed you and shit, but the truck could get the food. Mm-hmm. The lady that I've been uh, knowing that she's been working there for goddamn 20 years. And the girl, she said, can you give me a tip? The niggas will not give her a tip. I gave her a big healthy tip. I gave her a $100 bill. I said, listen, here you go. Only reason I gave her that kind of tip because the lady that I know the manager told me her fucking story. Guess what? I said, if you ever need something, let me know. She wrote a number down, and I had that same number in my motherfucking damn wallet. That's the number that I had. Come on. Mm-hmm. Did I tell you that? There you go. What's going on with bro? Man. Okay. All right. Ernesto, she wasn't trying to hear about some other chick doing the most and trying to help you. She was busy dialing the phone number. She was busy dialing the phone number to get damn Dion and damn, uh, what's his name on the phone? Monty. Okay. Can, did you guys catch that? He was running down this damn story, his damn boohoo, boohoo, I don't have nobody's story. She wasn't even listening to you, bro. I don't even say that. She wasn't even, li- he wasn't even listening to you, bro. Bronya, he's pouring out his heart to you. And you weren't even listening. Bro, she is trash. You hear me? She's trash, Nesto. <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to get in contact with Barbara. There's been so much going on. Be on the phone. Be on the phone. Be on the phone. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was. I was trying to get in contact with Brooke. What up, Brooke? Yeah. Who are you talking to now? Man, this shit got me confused, man. There's too much people on the phone. Man, you know, you know who this is, man. Stop doing that. No, hey, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to get in contact with Brooke. He's been calling me. Every time I try to take his call, he don't stay on the phone long enough for the hang-up. No, that's right. Uh, he on the phone now? You don't hear him in the background? Yeah, I'm on. Oh, I think it was a meal. What's going on, man? Yeah, I'm good. You good? Ghetto. 
Girl, they need to call her Thirsty Thirsty. I mean, I I just need to put some binoculars on her. She don't even... I mean, she was looking for him high and low for five weeks. Are you kidding me? Kawhi Storm going to put together with the film crew. She got film crew and everything. Really got them rock and roll. So go and pull that thing together now. Because, boy, I'm telling you, boy, this thing here, it's, 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 it done it got stupid. I don't even know. Hey, we're going to start it together. I, I already see it. I already see what it is. You yeah, already see. Yeah, I don't know what we are doing for now. I ain't going to hold you. Hey, you hit me up later. Give me a couple hours. If not, hit me tomorrow around about 5 o'clock. All right. Okay, cool. Nice. All right, ladies. All right. Junior. Not an yeah, idiot yeah, round yeah. table. Oh, what's your name, my Junior? <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Make sure you send an address to Quiet Storm. So, Quiet Storm. <laughs> Okay. 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 Yeah, because okay. I got to. Yeah, because I got to send that. I got to send that package to you because, like I did last time. Last time I sent that package to you, I went so goddamn fast. That shit was a conference so quick. See, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so I send it to her. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm gonna send it to you. All right. So I can get it to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll be moving as far as you be back, and I'll be moving. Gosh. What do you say? What do you say? I just have to. I don't be moving as far as everybody's back. I move. I just have to see the stuff first. Oh well, you know, right, one thing. One thing you said. I got to process this shit. Motherfucker might hit my brain. Be cloudy and shit. I understand that shit. Boy, I remember a guy that used to look at me like, boy, I, is this man a psycho, motherfucker? Or something? <laughs> But you, but you, but you just, you just, just explained yourself to me. I would have understood it. You just. You ain't used to nobody understanding where you're coming from, so you just don't give a damn when to tell them. But yeah. if you would have told me and explained to me, I would have understood it. Yeah. That's yeah. all. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm going to say right here, man. 
Hey, man, like I told you yesterday, I thank God just use the devil to make this thing here code fly like it need to fly so it can get down put this whole retirement plan together. Boy, look here. This shit is amazing to me. I ain't even lying to you. I ain't used to motherfucking know it's crazy to me. I'm not used to that. Yeah, man, you got it. I love man. It's time to start your whole new picture book. Man, here's a girl to play. Yo, trust me. When you see this portfolio together, you're going to be like, ooh. You're going to be like, whoa. <laughs> Okay, so I'm Ooh. good. I'm good. Hey, hey look here. Quiet, see this retirement plan. Like, yeah. I just, I just, like you said, did you send me an hour? Nah, I didn't go off. I mean, did you put that $20 on that so I can send it to you? Yeah. I put it on yeah, there when yeah. I said okay. I just ain't called nobody today, man. I was goddamn fucked up. He didn't call nobody today. I ain't called nobody, man. That's all. I just. Well, I had to text him and tell him to call Son, you shut yeah. up. Because I was just got down with my heel. Shut up. Uh, mm -hmm. So I didn't know I didn't want to have a paper. Yeah. So I, I, I appreciate it. I feel better. I feel much better now. I had to let the, let the, let the shield wear down. But uh, I'm going to hit you about the wide open there. But I feel better now. You're good. You're good. I just feel a little better, man. That's all that matters. I'm in here trying to find one of them little, all the things you left me when you had to go, go on your trip. Remember the little dog? The little yeah, dog? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to try something like that right now. I'm not going to break Oh, I had yeah. a man that had, the, he had the, the world on his shoulders. He was holding it up, and somebody came in the house and knocked it down. And I ain't found another one since. Oh, you can go to Amazon and get that. You can get that. Oh, I just, you know, just, yeah. you know, I just like to go out and just get to my thoughts. I might go to like TJ Maxx, Wild, stuff like that. And I just like to just, you know, get to it. Go to Home Goods. Home Goods got what you need. Home Goods. Home Goods. Ladies, if you want some decorating, you want a decorating shopping buddy? These guys talking about which home store they prefer tripped me out that was hilarious okay that was about the funniest part of this call was the fact that uh that dion prefers tj maxx and uh nesto said go to home goods but the joke is isn't tj maxx and home goods basically like the same they're part of the same family so it's I'm in Ross right now. Ross, Ross, okay, but that's yeah. good. Home good. Go to home good. I go to Ed Homes. I go to Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshall. I go to my house. I got me down to check and see what's going on. Okay, but it ain't like that home good, though. That home good got down and have what's happening. They take, they they take don't go. I got it. I got it. Man, when you see this crib, man, it don't look now like it used to look, man. I so had to give all that and take that stuff out that was given to me, but it's time for new stuff, man. Hey, you know what? You know what? Hey, you know what you need to do? You need to take that shit and sign on it, have, have them for to sign it, and auction that shit off. And trust me, you just see the whole of that shit, bro. Woo, woo. You, do, you know what I'm talking about now? Boy, you need to auction that motherfucker off. I just got, I just got to find where to put it, man. It's time, it's just time for a new okay. beginning. So, yeah, and that's when you see it, you're going to understand where I'm coming from. Oh, I you're see come it. Back, like, you did your thing. Oh, I see it. I mean, I already got the vision in there. I, I see what's going on. I see the vision. I, I understand. Trust me, I know, Zay. I know your style. You took out to me. You got it. You got it. <laughs> it's right here, but it's the big one right here, boy. I tell you, boy. Uh, you got some shoes out there the door. Now I ain't playing. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Say, I got all that spray paint stuff. I said, what my man to do? He got to make some out of me. Go get you a spray paint can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, you gonna be alright, bro. Yeah. You just need to get all about it. And so you can't sign up to trick some trade. That's what you yeah. need to do. Yeah, yeah, this is a big house. Yeah, I was just feeling quiet on the same thing. Yeah, that's what you got. You got to get yourself some juice. Man, do I? I can't hit something. 
Like what of all the stories you saw on the news, that's the news story that stuck with you the most. Like, sir, you got bigger fish to fry and just mind your business. If I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, what was the point? You need to be finding someone that got a magic pill for what you got going on over there. Oh, yeah. Like, I know it, man. I know it. I, I, I know it. But look here. That's oh, crazy. Yeah. Like, Man, I'm telling you, man, this world is crazy right now. I don't, I don't understand it. I really don't when it comes down to all that shit now. But that's not my concern. That's not my hearsay. What I got to do now is stay focused right now. So, yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Stay focused. So mind your business. Thing, right? I see a lion head. It's a lion head. Then I got a, another thing. It's just two hands, like, rubbing their palms together. Which one you like? And they both black. The lion head of the two hands rubbing their palms together. I like the I like the lion head because you're a king. I like the palm because uh, 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 has Those are two different things. Those are two different things, one or the other. I tell you, he's going to do that. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Sonia, shut up. He's, he's saying why he likes them. So shut up, sis. Shut up. Let the men talk. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Yeah, but I want to tell you. going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to tell you the story, though, with the hands, though. The hands is because I learned something. It show your direction in the palm of your hand that your quad stone showed that to me three months ago. He said, hold your hand up and let me see where the line is going in your hand. So, don't worry. So, don't worry. Right. The palms. Yes. Yeah. The palms. There you go. If your hands are identical, if the lines match up, Derek, they don't. They don't match up. There you go. He has messed up. Oh, okay. Say that again. So when you, when you line your hands side by side where the lines are, do your lines match up or are your lines off? Meaning, does the one hand get straight over to the other hand? Do they, are your lines on both hands identical and do they match up when you put your hand, when you put your palms together? What, what is he talking about? Talking about, uh, uh. You have one minute remaining. I thought you did a what? I know, right? You got to All right, sir. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> Thank you for using Global Telling. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't Yo, miss the next one. My God. Okay. Y'all, these two. These two. I mean, these three. Excuse me. Um, My God. Anyway, what did you guys think? What did you guys think? Um, some, I did see someone commented and said that they're, they don't like it anymore now because they feel like Nesto knows what's going on. Um, we haven't even gotten to the good part yet. Okay. We hadn't even got to the good part. Okay. Wait till we get to the good part. What's the good part? When these indictments start rolling in. Okay. That's the, that's going to be when just, he's wants his day in court. Let's get to the good part. All right, the good part's going to be these indictments. 
if they ever come, I'm almost kind of 50 50 right now, not whether he should be indicted, hear me, whether he will be indicted, because it's taking a very long time. Um, but whatever he's indicted on. So when we go over to Real Talk Bougie, let's get back into court. Let's step away from the gossip for a minute and get on Fulton County and see what in the bull is going on. And let's see, you know, it's getting ready to be break time anyway, because for like the next month, they're probably what well, Fulton. Look, if Fani wants my advice, girl, everybody needs to work over the holiday. They need to let people. I mean, I know they're very busy, so I hate to say it like this. You guys can take Christmas next year. I remember one time at my job, we were so busy. They didn't tell us to not take off Christmas, but they basically told us like we were going to be able to take like three or four days. It was going to be no stretching out of the like 10 day vacation type thing. You know how we do? Cause I know how I did. Um, and I would, I would, I would damn near be off for two weeks. Okay. And start out working from home. I'll be like, I'm going to be remote and then I'll be dead. And then, uh, okay. Anyway, um, they need to clean up their records. They need to get stuff updated. They need to, they need a huge, they need a whole month for cleanup and processing and data entry and documents, everything. Um, that's it. <laughs> now, as far as his case is concerned, cases, yeah, we're going to uh, look up and we're going to, you know, get our update. Okay. We're going to do a, what do you know? Um, if we don't do it today, cause I did say we were going to talk about these two videos over there. I'm going to just let y'all call in. So anybody that wants to call in, meet me later. What time after pickup? So this afternoon, um, I want to definitely be live before six o'clock. So like, let's say somewhere around three thirty four, just depending on, you know, how everything goes this afternoon. Um, cause I would like to be done by the time my husband's walking in the door. Um, so I can handle that business because I, I need to make eggplant tonight. So I need to make some eggplant and get and and all the eggplant things. Okay. So I'm gonna be making dinner and all of those things. So um, but yeah, don't forget to like this live. You guys really showed up on the lives. Thank you to Jen who dropped a super sticker. Thank you to Giggles. Okay, Giggles, Giggles, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, thank you for supporting, okay. Thank you for supporting Giggles. Is it showing that you are supporting? Thank you for the sticker, sis. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Yes, I'm making eggplant. Um, I would normally I would make eggplant parmesan, but he's not doing my husband is semi vegan, right? I mean, he's definitely doing vegetarian for the most part. I don't like to put labels. He's just, you know what I'm saying? Like whatever. Anyway, I'm not doing eggplant parmesan. I'm just going to do something more like a little bit of like, not so much a ratatouille, but you know, some sort of hot vegetable-y no meat dish. Um, so probably some, uh, some sauteed eggplant with garlic, spinach, onions, and I'll probably put some diced tomatoes in there cause I have way too many tomatoes in the fridge right now. So I'll cut up some tomatoes, um, season it very well. I might shred some Brussels sprouts. That's a new thing that I learned. Becky over at Acre Homestead, she made a salad and she shredded Brussels sprouts um, and chopped up broccoli. So kind of like that broccoli kale salad that they have at Sam's. So I might do some shredded Brussels sprouts and throw that in there and just let it cook for about 20 minutes and maybe, maybe serve it over some rice or if he wants cauliflower, I'm not sure, but yeah. Um, it's very, it's definitely very vegetarian. Um, but you know, no, no cheese. Cause normally eggplant to me means eggplant Parmesan, but we're not doing it like that right now. So anyway, but that's okay. Um, that's what, you know, that's what he wants to eat. So, um, and then Farah and I probably will eat a, a variation of that. So I might make an eggplant for us, bread it. And I might do like a, not eggplant Parmesan, but just slice some tomato. What do you call that? Um, when you just put like a basil leaf 
um, eggplant, Parmesan, well, eggplant cutlet, um, a slice of Roma tomato and basil and uh, maybe some mozzarella. Maybe I'll just do it like that and just put it in the toaster oven. Um, so yeah, I'll make eggplant for us different. So yeah, I usually have to sometimes mostly make like two meals. Um, roasted Brussels sprouts are really good with balsamic vinaigrette. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we're doing guys. But yeah, these I'm still here for this story. I know some of you are losing interest, varying different degrees, but back on topic, as far as the court is concerned, we haven't even, this is just like, this is the sideline stuff, but the real stuff is when these witnesses start walking into the courtroom. So don't lose your stamina for this story yet. We haven't even gotten there. If, you know, hopefully it's going to get, I don't want to say hopefully it gets prosecuted, but you know, if the man gets out of jail, that's not my concern. I don't really have a stake in it like that. I'm here for the juicy court trial but he's got to be indicted. And if they can't bring the the information to have him be indicted, there's really nothing we can do about it. I'm certainly not sitting here banking on any of that. But in the event he does get indicted, he will get his day in court. And that day in court is going to have a very messy and very juicy trial with all of the people who are accusing him of a litany of different things. And that is definitely what got me interested in this whole entire story because it was only hearing Majeski. We didn't know anything. That's called Cabrizi. Thank you. It was only when Majeski and ADA Taylor said he had a girlfriend. Remember, we were watching this before. Sonia, you, what you got to remember is all of us OGs to this story we were into this before we even found out about you, sis. Okay? I was reporting on this story before they even... It was like, what? Did they say he had a girlfriend? What? Okay? Nobody even knew about you, sis. We were already talking about it. We were talking about this story. Like, damn, Shirley Strawberry, you done scraped the bottom of the barrel to find this, this ninja. Okay? We already knew, we already were following this before we ever knew about a thirst pocket named Sonia. Okay. So don't think, don't feel too cute about yourself. Don't, don't be sitting there filling yourself like that. It's not all like that, boo boo. Okay. Okay. You are not the story. Okay. You're not. You, you are kind of a fun sideline to the story now, but trust and believe. You're just a sideline to this story. That's why you're mad because you want to be more to the story and you're just not. The only reason why this story is relevant because a lady by the name of Shirley Strawberry um, went low and she got caught out there, you know, slipping when she should have been doing a lot better for herself. But, you know... Everybody, nobody, no, everyone doesn't get it perfect. And, um, it is what it is, but miss, miss, uh, miss Sonia girl, don't get it twisted. This story is really not that much about you. Um, you have a very desperate man here who has fucked up with his wife and he needs as much help as he possibly can. And you are not a trustworthy woman. And that's why he was not really sure what the hell you were up to when you called him with that man on the phone. So anyway, guys, that's, that's what I think of this call. Um, Sonia is just revealing herself for the opportunist that she is um, in my mama Joyce voice. She's giving very much opportunist and I'm still definitely, I'm here for it all. And um, we will talk about, this call, these two calls today, what you guys are thinking about Miss Waller. That's what I want to hear about today from you guys. And then either tomorrow or Thursday, let's get on Fulton County. Let me, I'm going to do my searches, get everything all looked up and we will see what, if any updates there are, um, on the case. 
and um and that's it and that's all so if that sounds like a plan we'll do we'll continue to do our reactions and stuff over here our deep dives over there um and then you know we got whatever else we have going on over here all of our, our all of our mommy content and then as far as the mommies are concerned from this standpoint Sonia, you are a mother of a scripper. That's what's been reported on the YouTube streets. Um, you got a whole grandchild over there. You sitting there. So to be fair, I don't know who's here who listens to my mommy content. I, I guess all of you guys do mostly. Um, Sonia's over there on the damn phone with the man in, in jail, not the granddaddy. Okay. You on the phone with not the granddaddy. And that baby is looking for some attention. You sitting there on a whole phone call, lying. Meanwhile, you should be feeding that baby. Okay? Period. And then Nesto, you on the phone with this man who is quote unquote married to another woman and you talk shit about her daughter to your side piece. Okay? And it's Christmas time. Welcome to Nesto's Family Hustle, guys. Okay. <laughs> a mess. Soon to come to a Tubi channel near you. Anyway, uh, let's see what else you guys are saying, and then I'm going to let y'all go. Um, girl, a kickstand. You got a whole new kickstand. Shirley knew better at 60 years old. She should have. She should have, and she was looking fabulous. She had got all her weight down. She got slim and trim. She's holding very nicely, hold, very nicely, looking real, real good. And this guy comes through with the bullshit, and she fell for it. But that's, you know, that's how it goes. That's how it goes sometimes. Anyway, guys, I'm going to let y'all go. Let's see, hopefully... uh Everything is going to go well. It's already lunchtime for y'all. So it's on the East Coast. Y'all in uh, Cali or Vegas or whatever, you guys are getting ready to make moves and all that stuff. So I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to let y'all go and I will see you guys next time. Okay. Take care. Have a good day and hit the like button for me. Share this. Share, share, share. If you care, care, care out on your social media, I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time, okay? Walk it like I talk it. 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 Um, to the sh super chats, cash apps, everything. You guys are super sweet. Um, everyone who's been here all morning, this was so much fun. I hope you feel like we're all the way caught up. Thank you again for all of the condolences and prayer and everything that you guys are sending my way and to my family. It is very much appreciated. Um, so I just want to take this quick minute, um, to let you guys know, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And it, yes, it is the holiday season and for everyone, it's not going amazing right now. So, um, you know, I'm just putting that out there. It's not, it's not amazing for everyone at this moment, but at the end of the day, God is good. And, um, but we all have to be responsible for our happiness 
And um, if you are going through something right now, just take a hold and take a look at your situation and see what changes you can make. Even a little change makes a big difference. You can't expect miracles without putting in some work because we know what faith without works is dead. So you have to be responsible. It's just not going to come up like magic. Jesus is not Santa Claus and you got to put in that work. Okay. Um, anyway, guys, you guys take care. I love you guys so much. I will see you all this afternoon. And thank you. Thank you for your condolences, DD Star. Appreciate it so much. How do you become a member? Um, after this live, just go to my front page and there's a join button, but I will post something on the community wall, a direct link. So if you don't find it by the time I post it, I'll be posting it like in the next, like, just give me 30 minutes. I'll have it posted for you. Okay, sis. And thank you to anyone who wants to join the channel. It's all appreciated. But number one, watching the videos means more to me than you will ever know. Because someone out there just posted a video and is waiting for someone to come through other than their family to watch their stuff. So trust and believe when you guys show up and come watch these videos, it means a lot. Okay. So I thank you very much um, for, you know, patronizing my channel, watching my content, sharing my content. It means a lot. So thank you very much. Y'all take care. I'll see you a little bit later on Real Talk Bougie and uh, we'll talk about uh, everything. I'll let you guys, I'm going to turn over the mic and let you guys talk and we'll, we'll see what you guys are thinking out here. Okay. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one.